Hi, everybody. Welcome to Dive Deep. I'm Shelby Cornett. I'm the ministry assistant at Cambridge City Christian Church, and this is Danny, our lead pastor. Good morning, Shelby. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm exhausted. Yeah, you have toddlers. I have toddlers, yeah. Yeah. But I'm good other than that. That's good. How are you? I'm good, yeah. yeah. Good. Just, you know, end of February. You know, February is like the shortest month of the year, but for me, it's like the the longest. longest. It's like the shortest, longest month that... I feel like we should, you know, once we get past, like, Christmas and January, I'm done Mm -hmm. with the snow, I'm done with the cold, I'm ready for things to warm up again. Like, December and January are still cold, but, like, you have, like, like Christmas makes you feel better. Yeah. And you're, like, after Christmas and New Year's, you start to come off of it, and then... Yeah. And now it's getting... February stinks. All right, yeah, we're done with it now, so... Yeah. And now March, and March is kind of a long month, too, because... You, I don't know. There's something you about know, March. Though. You think it's spring, but it's not. And yeah, we're getting there though. Yeah, we're getting eventually. There, though. We had one good day. Yeah, we did. We had a few this good week, days so. really this week. Yeah, a couple days in the 60s. So. Yeah, but it rained one day, so yeah. that doesn't count. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right. So enough of our weather forecast here <laughs> at Cambridge City Christian Church. <laughs> so this week, yeah, we talked about suffering. Yeah. And I don't know what I expected when we talked about suffering, but it was different than I expected. Oh, yeah, in what way? It was more positive than I than I thought. Oh, okay, that's good. I mean, it obviously, suffering It's a hard topic stinks, to be positive about. Yeah, yeah, it's a very hard topic. It to showed the about. good in suffering. Yeah. And yeah. when you're suffering, you don't typically think about that. Yeah, and, and that I mentioned that in the message about um, how to suffer well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, that... It sounds I, I, weird. I know. Even when I was when I when I was working on the message, and I and I wrote, I I write out thoughts, and a lot of times I'm like, no, nah, that's either that's not biblical, or it's, or it just doesn't flow or make sense. Even when I wrote that out, I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> we need to suffer well. I'm like, what? But then the more I prayed over that, I went back to that statement because I'm like, yes, that's it. That's exactly mm-hmm. what this passage is saying is. Is that there is such a way to, to suffer well? So yeah, yeah, it was kind of counterintuitive, I guess you would say, yeah. to what to what you would expect. And it made me sermon. think of people, mm-hmm. like people I know who have suffered well. Yeah, yeah, and and we do hold those people up in high regard, don't we? That's a really mm-hmm. good point. That's not something I really touched on in the message, but um, yeah, when people go through suffering and they do it well, we see them as heroic. And mm-hmm. Yeah, and you yeah. want to be like them, like yeah. You, they're a great to be example. More like They're them. a model for us. Yeah. 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 Can you think of anybody like that? Yeah, Bud. Yeah. Yeah. He was one of the first people that came to mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I also thought about, I don't know if she watches this, my Aunt Christy. Mm-hmm. And she had some surgeries and stuff yeah. going on. She yeah. did. She was awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yeah. Don't, I, I don't know that I would have been the same way. Mm-hmm. It would have been yeah. hard. I can think of a lot of people through the years of ministry that I've seen that have went through a lot of stuff and they've held on to their faith and mm-hmm. yeah we d- yeah that's a really good point Shelby should have maybe expounded on that a little bit more in my message but mm-hmm. but yeah we do like to see people who suffer well mm-hmm. and we want to be like that too yeah, yeah. just mm-hmm. the thought that came to mind yeah it's good and you can have a good thought every now and then <laughs> every now and then <laughs> 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 all right just kidding <laughs> yeah. all the time yeah. Let's see. What else? I I also wrote, don't be surprised when things are hard. Yeah. Like, we often, like, we get shocked when something mm-hmm. goes wrong, and it's like, really? Why me? Or yeah. why now? Or Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. I should have prepared better. I'm just reading my notes. No, you're good. I wrote. I'm suff- glad you took notes. <laughs> I did. While I was doing live stream. Wow. You were double. Multitask. Wow. That was really good. Yeah, I'm proud That's of myself. Impressive. Hmm. So, also, I wrote, suffering is an opportunity. Yeah. And that was a fill in the blank. Yeah, too. you read my mind. I did. Yeah. And I didn't think about it like that, but it really is. So, wh- so why do you think we don't think of suffering as an opportunity? Because it stinks. <laughs> yeah. We you think of it as a negative, don't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't like this. Why? Like you said, why me? Yeah. Yeah just hard to go through so you don't think of anything positive yeah 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 i mean 
when we think of opportunities, we usually think of an opportunity in a positive light. So mm -hmm. uh, this is a great financial opportunity or a great opportunity to advance in your job or uh, this is a great opportunity at school or mm -hmm. which those are all seen as positives. So whenever we have something bad, it's really hard. Uh, yeah. There was a lot in this message that just runs totally against the way and which is perfect for a series called different right mm -hmm. because a, a lot of, of a lot of it. this stuff was different uh, yeah mm -hmm. a different way of looking at things and um yeah the way we suffer we have to look at it differently and looking at it as an opportunity is really different <laughs> yeah yeah another yeah. like big thing i put was like there are people who care and want to help you yeah through your suffering yeah. so suffer with someone yeah if you're suffering yeah. Show up and help others who are suffering. Yeah. And don't be afraid to go to Jesus with your suffering. Yeah. Because even though he probably went through worse. Right. He gets it. He totally gets it. And, <laughs> you know, sometimes we, we have this idea, and our, our culture has kind of moved in a direction where we believe in, in privacy. So... Mm -hmm. Um, I remember back here, I don't know, it was probably 10 or 12 years ago, they passed a bunch of laws, like in hospital settings and mm -hmm. healthcare settings, about privacy. You know, mm -hmm. they have these privacy acts. And I remember um, as a pastor, I would go into, I used to be able to go into a hospital and say, uh, I think there's somebody here from my church can't, or somebody mm -hmm. that I know, don't know their name. Can you tell? And they would be able to look it up and help me figure it out. Right. Well, 12 years ago, they changed that. And you have to, like, have their name. And then they have to be willing mm -hmm. to have their name in a directory and all that. And uh, things really changed yeah. a lot. And and it's not just in that. We see we see the desire for privacy and a lot of other things with mm -hmm. technology, Internet, um, finance, finances. I mean, we privacy, privacy everywhere. And so that's kind of bled over into other right. things such as suffering. Like, mm -hmm. we have this idea that we should suffer by ourselves. Mm -hmm. Just push through it and get over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, and and I'm, I'm afraid that that's not, I mentioned that in the message, that it's very dangerous because mm -hmm. Satan loves to isolate us. Um, and that's how he's able to lead us into areas where we grow d into deeper depression. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I really do believe a lot of suicide is even that way. Um, we're isolated to the point we think that we're the only one dealing with this, whatever, you know, yeah. we're, we're struggling through. And um, and I think a lot of that is cultural, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, and we need to be more open about the way that we feel. And, and people do want to listen. I mean, your family right. does care about you. Your your um, your friends, co-workers, people, you know. Mm -hmm. but, but what we do is we think, oh, well, I don't want to bother them or, oh, you know, they don't want to hear with this or whatever, or maybe they're going through stuff too. And you're like, well, I don't want to, they got a lot going on. I don't want to No, God has put us here for each other. Right. And, and obviously he's here too. Like, that made me think too. There's so many things I can connect to this. When I had Jackson yeah. and I was in the hospital by myself because Jackson was in Indianapolis Yeah. and the like chaplain from mm -hmm. the hospital came in to talk to me and I like just didn't want to talk to her. I was like, I'm dealing with this on my own. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, that's her job. Like, she has to come in here and talk mm -hmm. to me. So I didn't really talk to her. Mm -hmm. And I told her I didn't want to talk about it. Yeah. And I'm looking back, I'm like, I should have just let, let it, it out. out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a really good example. Yeah. But, yeah. but again, that's, we're, we're kind of uh, trained without really knowing that we've been trained mm -hmm. um, into that kind of thought process. Mm hmm that I need to just, I just thought of buck that. up and, you know, fight through this on my yeah. own. And yeah. 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 And, 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 and we're really, it's sad because we're putting ourselves through a lot more pain and suffering than we really need to. Mm -hmm. I think about like when you talk to someone or when you pray about something, it literally makes you feel lighter. I think it does. Like, like yeah. my, it's literally like weight off my chest. Mm -hmm. I'm like, why don't we do that? Yeah, you know, the, it's funny you say that because the message is coming week, and I don't want to give away too much. But yeah. um, but there's a word that I'm going to be talking about. The word is cast. Mm -hmm. Cast your anxieties on the Lord, you know. And, mm -hmm. and I have um, that highlighted in my Bible. Yeah. like And, and it's it's a really cool word. Mm -hmm. um, we'll talk about it next week. But, but 
we don't do that. Like we just yeah. if we do give our anxieties over, it's like, well, I'm not here, you know, because yeah. I don't want to burden you or whatever. You know, and that's not at all what we should do. Yeah, we shouldn't be afraid just to just throw it, it all out there. Throw yeah. it all out. If it there. feels good, they'll just let it, it out. It does. It does. There's something about. I mentioned that. I did mention that Sunday that there's just a weight that's lifted, even when. And 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 mm -hmm. if you're the person listening to someone else, you don't have to be a trained counselor. You don't right. have to be a, you know, an just expert. being there. Just being your presence, number one, and just listening, mm -hmm. um, and uh, that can do so much for people. And we should right. be better at that, especially as Christ followers. Just being a body there, mm -hmm. yeah, helps people. Yeah, yeah. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about was how suffering can help you more fully appreciate your future. Yeah, yeah. So after you've gone through something yeah, and things start to look up or you feel yeah. better, you appreciate it more. Yeah, when, when you're on the backside of a, um, of a trial or suffering and you see what you've gone through, mm -hmm. um, you really appreciate where you're at. More. It's like you feel like you're on top of the mountain, yeah. like you made it. Yeah. I mean, I know our church, uh, we've talked a lot um, here at our church about the Moda family in our church. Mm -hmm. And and if you're watching today, you may not know, but uh, Patricia and Chiago are a married couple. They have two kids in our mm -hmm. church. And uh, because of some different issues, um, Chiago was was forced to stay in Brazil. As their family is from Brazil. Mm -hmm. and, and so for the last four plus years, um, they have been separated. Now, they've visited... I know right. Patricia's gone down and visited with their kids a couple of times. But as a family, they were separated. And then finally here, what, last week, they mm -hmm. were able to be back together again as a family here in the United States. And I'm sure they're going through this process right now where they're looking back over all the trials and all mm -hmm. the suffering that they've gone through. And now they can more fully appreciate it makes it that, much better. that they're together. You know, as a family. I thought that while yeah. you were preaching Sunday, I was like, mm -hmm. how fitting that this is their first week. Yeah, yeah. And it... This sermon made me think of them a lot, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and it really does. I mean, we're more great. You know, if we go through a health crisis mm -hmm. and we feel better again, we more appreciate our health. Mm -hmm. um, when we have a, a blow up in a, in a marriage and you work through it and you come through on the backside and you're closer together, you appreciate it more. Mm -hmm. um, work, you go through a tough period at work, at school, wherever it is, we... W God uses that to help us appreciate mm -hmm. the good times more. Yeah. Um, and and so, yeah, it, it can definitely be a good thing. Yeah. yeah. So, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, I like pretty this cool one. stuff. Yeah. Well, good. I'm yeah. glad. That's my <laughs> that's my aim every week is to make sure Shelby's pleased and that she doesn't <laughs> grill me too much here and dive deep. Yeah. So I, I grade his sermon every week. That's right. She puts a note on my desk and. <laughs> <laughs> report yeah. cards for that's you. right my report card <laughs> so so next week is yeah so we're wrapping up we're wrapping yeah. up the book of of uh, first peter this has been a really good book mm -hmm. and uh, we're wrapping it up we're going to talk about um maturity it, uh, really this the last sermon is a kind of a good summing up sermon for this mm -hmm. series um the the major theme throughout the entire book is submission yeah and he talks about submitting um how leaders should submit and how followers should submit, um, and he kind of wraps the book up with that. So we're gonna we're gonna yeah. dive into that and cool. wrap up the book, and then we get into our giving series, series starting yeah. uh, the week after that. So cool, yeah, exciting, yeah, yeah. All right, so next week we will talk about the last sermon in the different series. Yep, right. Wrap it up. Okay. Yep. Well, that's it. Then we'll see you guys next week.